bones. Is you ready, my brother? Step up to this mic and let's get it. Make some noise for dogs, y'all. Make some noise. What's up guys, Domes Gage here, and you are now watching the very first episode of my brand new solo podcast, Off the Dome with Domes Gage. <laughs> um, this is now like the fourth time I've tried recording this first episode, and I'm going to let you know something, it's very hard to carry a podcast by yourself. And that was one of my concerns when I thought of starting this podcast. <laughs> is I don't know if I can do a podcast by myself because me and KON used to do the podcast and um I'll get I'll get back to that. Anyway, I've had the idea of starting this podcast for a few months now because me and KON used to do our podcast and it's been on a little hiatus and we do plan to bring it back. We talk all the time about bringing it back. But um I wanted to start this podcast because I wanted to do something a little bit more a little bit more personal, a little bit more uh surrounded around my life and around the music and the journey and the stuff that I have going on. Me and KON's podcast was a lot more uh just funny, cracking jokes, making fun of current hip hop stuff and things going on or movies or videos like which was fun like I love doing that podcast but it got to a certain point where I felt like I was talking about other people more than I should be talking about other people more than me and I'm like I should be like you know we should be talking because I don't have a platform like a breakfast club or a hot 97 or a sway in the morning that's going to interview me right now like I should be using these podcasts kind of as an interview as like this is what I have going on this is what's on my mind and even deeper than that but just kind of like to get thoughts and ideas out I think of a lot of stuff and I have a lot of stuff on my mind and it's you know I just I felt like starting a solo podcast was somewhere that I can kind of do that and when me and KON bring our podcast back it will still be the funny like us having fun and you know what I mean we can still do that because for a while I was like oh KON we can't bring the podcast back unless we're more personal and talk about our lives and stuff and uh that maybe held us back a little bit because you know I don't know and um so yeah I'm not gonna worry too much about changing the format of the domes and kon podcast <laughs> i just decided to start my solo podcast off the dome with domes gauge and now um i've had this idea now for like a few months to start this podcast and just like every time i've gone to start it i've just decided i don't know i've just haven't haven't done it haven't sat down and done it sat down and done it sat down and did it sat down and did it i think my mom's gonna be mad at me for saying that anyway um <laughs> um I already forgot what I was talking about and I'm telling you it's hard to carry a podcast by yourself so shout out to everybody that does that um so yeah I don't know <clears throat> I wanted to start this solo podcast okay the name off the dome with domes gauge great name right great play on my name like you know that's that's I thought of like what could my solo podcast be called where I just talk about what's going I don't even need a script I just go off the dome oh right makes sense makes sense so <clears throat> the other day I go and like just try and search and see if that's a thing the off the dome podcast and of course there's like three other off the dome podcasts and I'm like, well, none of them are as cool as mine because it's not a play off their name. Like mine just makes so much more sense and is a better name than your guys's. So sorry, dudes. But um, that's why mine is technically called Off the Dome with Domes Gauge, not Off the Dome Podcast, because there's other Off the Dome Podcast imposters out there. And uh, I looked at a couple of their pages and 
um, I had noticed that they just started. Like, they just started last month. They just made their podcast. And I'm like, God damn it. I've had this idea to do this podcast for months now with this name. And then, but I look and somebody's already doing it. And basically, it just means I need to do these ideas. I need to execute. I can't, like, have these ideas stored up in my head. I should have done this months ago. And then there wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have been an imposter. Now they are looking at me like I'm an imposter, but domes is my name. So off the dome with domes, it's better. You guys are impo- I'm I'm going to drop it. I'm going to let, I'm going to let it chill. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it chill. Let me chill. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting uh, experience. This first episode is already uh, going off the rails and I don't, I have things to talk about, but I don't really have stuff like written down. I think I have a couple notes, but this is all off the dome, guys. All off the dome. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to sum up that first part with saying this is off the dome with Dome's Gauge, a place where I'm going to be speaking my mind and talking about the journey and the stuff that I have going on in my life. The Domes and KON podcast will be coming back at some point. Um, you guys should go bother KON on Instagram and <laughs> tell him that not only do we need to bring the podcast back, but we need to uh, do more music. And that was also a reason that the Domes and KON podcast kind of stopped is I felt at a certain point that it was getting in the way of uh, making music. It was getting in the way of me like doing that in the sense of I'm filming, editing, mix, I'm doing everything for the podcast. And um, around that period that we were doing it a few years ago, a couple years ago, um, my equipment on my computer was just not up to par. And there was days where it was taking like three or four days just to like render a video and like just to get the podcast out, we would have to do it. It was just a nightmare. And then I'm like rendering a video for four days and can't work on any music. And it's just like it got it. It started to wear on me like I'm not doing enough. Maybe we need to chill on the podcast. And um, now I have a little bit better equipment. And especially for something like this where it's just myself, I can pop on the camera, turn on the light and grab the mic and just kind of, you know, just start talking. So it's. I still have to edit. I still have to do that, but hopefully it won't take three days because uh, my equipment's a little bit better now. So <clears throat> I guess that summarizes that, I think, about uh, about why the Domes and KON podcast has been on hiatus and why the Off the Dome with Domes Gauge podcast is starting. god blank air i'm everybody that does a podcast by themselves shout out to you guys because that i'm sure their first few episodes they're just like i gotta keep talking i gotta keep talking like i feel like i can't stop talking and i just took a sip of coffee and i'm like oh no blank space blank air (laughs) anyway well guys um I think one thing that I'll start out by talking about, start by talking, I don't fucking know, I can't even talk right now. I'm trying to do a podcast, I can't even talk. And that's off the dome with Dome's Gauge, that's how it goes. Uh, (laughs) Well, the first thing I wanted to talk about is the Dome's Gauge t-shirts are available now, domesgauge.com slash shop. Shout out to everybody that has purchased one so far, the support means the most this is the first run the first piece of merch that I've ever released and I'm really excited about it um I'm super excited that you guys are into it and shout out to everybody that's buying it and um like I said in my little promo video if you do buy one make sure to tag me take a picture tag me on Instagram and I'll post you on there and all that at domes gauge all my social medias are at Domes Gauge. Someone asked me, like, put your social medias in the description. And I'm like, it's just Domes Gauge everywhere. I don't have any, like, fancy nicknames. But <laughs> anyway, um, yes, Domes Gauge t-shirts. Here, let me, let me grab one real quick. Domes Gauge t-shirts are available now. 
domesgage.com slash shop. Also, the domesgage.com website has been like re redone. Looks looks real nice. Shout out to my my gang over there, or my my tech team. No, I'm just kidding. Um. <clears throat> All right. So. Uh, see, now I'm just blanking out, blanking out. <sighs> I don't even know what to say, guys. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of this in this podcast. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me. Hopefully I'll get better in the, the next, you know, few episodes. Uh, maybe I'll have guests eventually too, but right now it's just me. It's just Buck. It's just my dog. Do you guys see my dog? I'm sure you guys have probably noticed him by now, but that's my dog, Buck. He's chilling. He holds my drinks. So, you know, uh, it's just me and him. We're holding it down for now. Uh, you get it. Domes, gauge, buck. Anyway, I don't need to break stuff down for you. Y'all should already get it, man. Wake up. No. (laughs) (sighs) All right. Domes, gauge, t-shirts. Domesgage.com slash shop. We talked about the shirts. Uh, yeah. Shout out to everybody that's, that's purchasing those. Um, that's something I've wanted to do forever is, is merch. And, uh, I've slacked on it for so long, you know, back when I did the album 2015, I put out old soul and a young body and everyone was like, Oh, you know, put, put your logo on the shirt and I would buy it. And I was kind of like, Oh really? Like just the logo. Like, I feel like I need a better design or something. And I posted a picture on my Instagram maybe like uh, a month ago or something like, hey, would you guys wear one of these? And it was just a picture of the logo T-shirt and people went crazy, like definitely. So I figured that's a place to start, right? Like I should start with my logo and then start designing a bunch of other stuff. So uh, we've been trying to design a bunch of other things. I have a couple other designs in the works. Yeah, so I have a couple other designs in the works, and uh, more merch will be coming soon. So once we get all that, let me know in the comments like what you guys would like to see. Somebody said a hoodie, um, maybe hats. I want to do like socks. I want to do lighters. I want to do stuff like that. Um, so let me know what you guys would like to see my logo on. Also, if you have any design ideas, you know what I mean? Um, I got a couple in the works, so comment below and let me know. All right. Well, see, now I had the idea of starting this podcast months ago and I had all this stuff happening. So it was kind of like, oh, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that. And now I want to talk about things, but it's it's fucking been a long time. So it's hard for me to remember everything that I wanted to talk about, because, of course, I didn't write anything down. I didn't prepare for this podcast. It's just off the dome. It's off the dome with Dome's Gage. And for anybody who's been saying my name is Dom's for the last However many years you're going to see this episode and be like, oh, I've been saying this wrong for a long time. <laughs> Shout out to the homie. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so shows, I guess we'll, that's what I have written down here, but I don't know. That's necessary. No, you know what? Let's start more current. I'll go back. I'll go back. We're going to start more current. Um. For anybody that's been following me real recently, I did uh, some freestyles, freestyles, that's what we call them these days, although they're just like raps that you write over verses or over people's beats, Um, over some beats from the Dreamville album and Dreamville, I'm sure a lot of my followers probably know who Dreamville is, but that's like J. Cole's record label. And uh, a bunch of people are signed to it. J.I.D., who's like fucking one of the best rappers right now. Uh, Boss, Earth Gang, a uh, ton of people. And they, a few months ago, I remember they were posting about, you know, the Revenge of the Dreamer sessions. And for anybody that doesn't know about this, that I really recommend their documentary, uh, Revenge of the Dreamer. Or no, it's called Revenge, Dreamville Revenge. And it's a documentary about the making of this compilation album revenge of the dreamers three so they do a compilation album and um they basically did like they took like 10 days in a studio invited like hundreds of artists and producers and people like that and there's like fucking i don't know how many like five studios or something like that and they just recorded a ton of music and then narrowed it down to like 18 songs or something like that 
comp made a compilation album out of it and i just love and made a documentary out of it and now i watch this documentary and it's like the coolest thing because there's just so much like i don't know it's so much energy so much creativity so much talent it's just so tight to watch and it had me so inspired just watching watching this documentary that i'm just like man and you know uh one of the dudes i think boss is like uh he's like you know there's eight people that are hopping on a record so you really got to like be the first to get in there you got to really like you know what i mean get to it and uh uh you got to get it done fast or whatever and it was either boss or eve who's the who's the president of dreamville and um but anyway regardless i was like man i would love to be a part of something like that i kept telling myself that throughout the whole time of watching this documentary like damn i wish i was a part of something like that like And then hearing them say shit like that, like, you got to be quick, you got to be, you know, be efficient, you got to get your shit done. So I was kind of like, how would I react if I was in a session like that? Like, how would I actually fucking fend for myself if I had to? And so I was like, I think their album dropped maybe like later that week or whatever. And I was like, let me take three songs from their album that I fuck with and let me write my verses to them. Let me write verses as if. Let me put myself in the shoes as if I was there in that session, how fast I could write this, how quick I could get it done, how good I can make it. And it was just like a test, I guess, to kind of push myself of like how fast, how good, you know, whatever. So I picked Down Bad, Costa Rica and Got Me and I did little freestyles over them. And um, I decided just to do them like Instagram style, like film it for my phone and post it online because I did a little snippet of me playing guitar which if you follow me on my Instagram you might have saw that and I just did that straight for the phone and people seemed to like it so I was like all right let me just uh like just put out the bars like that I don't even need to record it on the mic or nothing and people show me a lot of love on it and I thought that was really cool because I don't really like try and do stuff like that as far as like oh I want to rap over somebody else's beat It was kind of just like a test for myself. But then when I wrote the verses, I was like, these are actually like really good or they came out better than I expected because I was doing it as fast as I was. And uh, I think that was also something that I I took a look at where I was like, oh, maybe if I push myself, give myself more of a deadline of like this has to be finished right now. It kind of makes you uh, it makes you push out better stuff, if that makes sense, by having that pressure it kind of like makes you do better. And also I was just really inspired by the documentary. So I was like, yeah, let me, uh, let me do a couple verses on there and tag Dreamville and see if anyone sees it and, uh, to no avail, but that's all right. One day, one day, Revenge of the Dreamers, four, five, six, where we at dog? Ebe, holla at me. (laughs) But, um, so I went on Twitter, right? And I, now I'm totally against this, right? This is totally out of my character, but I posted, I went to like one of the Dreamville posts about the album and I shared my video in the comments, right? And I'm totally against doing that. Like I've never been that kind of guy. I was like, yeah, let me like shout in your guys' comments about me. But I mean, people do it so much worse. There's kids that are like, hey, I'm a 17 year old rapper. Check me out and their songs have nothing to do with the person that they're they're commenting under they're just spamming and me I at least thought it was a little different because I'm like at least I rapped on the Dreamville songs so I'm like going under the Dreamville posts about the album and I don't know man my whole thing with that was I was thinking I rapped on the Dreamville stuff the Dreamville fans might like this or I I want to know what the Dreamville fans think so posted it on there and got some love got some love got some hate and that was cool to see because nobody was seeing it on my twitter before and then i posted on the dreamville thing and people was like oh you killed this or fire emoji or whatever and i was like yo that's that's really cool for me to see because i'm so against i'm so against like doing that like posting my video under something like that and the fact that i did it and got such a good response I think was something also I was like oh that's kind of uh I don't know that's cool so I won't be spamming a bunch of people's stuff but I guess I don't know I don't know anyway if you guys uh saw the Dreamville stuff saw the Dreamville freestyles I did 
or if you haven't, go check them out. I posted them on YouTube. I posted them on YouTube, although uh, I thought I maybe should have actually recorded them, like, on the mic and stuff. But, you know, whatever. And my camera's giving me a real hard time right now. It does not want to keep recording. I think it's overheating because I have a big old light over it. So I'm just going to... uh. <laughs> kind of pissing me off there's probably been no video for the last uh couple minutes anyway all right guys i probably cut out a couple minutes of that <laughs> so yeah if you haven't heard them yet go listen to them they're on my instagram they're on my facebook they're on youtube now uh although i thought i should have maybe like re-recorded them on the mic before i put them on youtube but you know whatever i just uploaded them here are the bars i don't i don't really need like i said i feel weird about rapping on other people's beats and doing the whole like cover freestyle remix thing so i didn't really need to do it all official like that i'm like let me just you know post it on the post do it for the gram <sighs> well my camera hasn't it looks like it's it's acting fine now it was tripping a second ago. Sorry for for the watchers, the viewers. They didn't they didn't get to see footage for the last uh, couple minutes because it was probably it was cutting out so much it was probably easier just to uh, blank it out completely. Isn't that right, Buck? Buck says that's right. <laughs> All right. What else do we got in here? I wonder how long I've been going for, honestly. Let's see. Oh, I can't even tell. I didn't even set up to where I can tell. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so dumb. Well, we're just going to free ball this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? Okay, dropping soon, I guess I can talk about. Or you know what I'll talk about? I'll talk about um some shows. I did I did some shows and I have some shows coming up or a show coming up. Um as a lot of you guys know, I was doing big or I wasn't doing big shows. I mean, I did open for Tech 9 and fucking stuff like that. It was a pretty big show and I did some big shows, but I was doing a lot of shows is what I meant. I was doing a lot of shows around 20 15 2016 and then I kind of fell back man I noticed even when I was making the first album it was a lot of let me make this album and not really do anything or go outside or anything and let me go do the shows after like I put out the album then I promote it by doing shows and all that and I think I kind of started to do that again in the last couple years where I was like oh, I got tired of playing uh, the same music let me go back and create and fucking hole up in my cave or whatever. And I just started, I think I did one show in 2017. Shout out to Donnie Menace. I did his show in 2017. Uh, and then 2018. No, I didn't do anything 2018. Cause that was, uh, I even posted about it on my Instagram that I opened for, Kasky recently who's an artist from uh, on the cash money records label I believe St I th I believe he's still on there I know he used to be but anyway Kasky he's a dope uh artist from Florida I want to say anyway um I did my first show in two years it's been two years since I've been on stage and a lot of you guys that follow me on Instagram already know about this, but I don't do the life of me anymore, or I guess that's on hiatus too. So I haven't like, you know, haven't been, I haven't talked to my YouTube guys or my, my, uh, I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> Doing a podcast by yourself is hard, guys. Cut me some slack. <laughs> <sighs> All right. KON, where are you, dude? God damn it. No, just kidding. Um. Um, I should call him. I should call KON and tell him I'm doing the first episode and get him as my guest. I might do that actually in a second. Um, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Shows. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, a couple months ago, I don't remember the exact date, but I opened for cash money artist Kasky 
at the box out here in Las Vegas. And it was my first show, first time back on stage in two years. Um, Like, Donnie had pulled me on stage a few times, like, in 2018, 2017, to do one song with them and those were like the only shows I was doing so yeah it was my first show in two years and it went fairly well it was really hot but a lot of people came out and showed love and showed support and that was it was fun it was fun to be back on stage see I was more I was like oh I'm gonna talk about this on my podcast like after doing this show and now it's been months since doing the show and I don't like it's not on the top of my mind it's not on it's not off the dome anymore (laughs) top of the dome anymore so i'm like it's not like fresh in my head is what i'm trying to say but anyway so yeah it was a good time and uh shout out to everybody that came through and it felt good to be back on stage then i did a smaller show uh for one of the homies out here he booked me to do a show uh, a local artist and um yeah it was it was less people but a lot more intimate and I had the shirts on deck and some people bought some shirts. So that was really cool. A lot of support was shown. A lot of people cop shirts. And that was that was like really humbling, you know, just to like put out the merch and people be like, oh, yeah, I want one and buy one. And that like it, you guys like don't understand how much that means, like the views and or not even the views, but like the comments and the likes and shit like that means so much. And then when somebody's actually like here's money to, to here's oh you made a shirt when I made the shirt I'm like oh I don't think anybody's gonna want this shit right and then I make it and people love it or not love it but you know what I mean people like it people want to buy it and so people were showing love and they were buying the shirt and it made me feel good about myself and that means a lot guys so thank you to everyone who has purchased a shirt uh shameless promo again domesgage.com slash shop get the shirts <laughs> Ah, all right. Blank air, guys. Speaking of shirts, I actually need to send a shirt out today, so I'm going to do that. But So, oh yeah, shows. I did a smaller show. That was awesome, and I have an upcoming show in Las Vegas. Um for all my for all my boom bap heads, I'm opening for Apathy and Self-Titled which are, they're like some underground hip-hop uh, OGs. And I used to listen to them a lot when I was a kid. When I was coming up, it was a lot of atmosphere, Jedi mind tricks, and uh, apathy and self-titled was definitely, definitely something we used to bump. Um, although it's not necessarily like the style of music I make these days, so it's kind of, I got to jump in my boom bap bag, which I have a lot of songs that are still boom bap, like, driven but I think it's a lot I don't know it's just different now I'm not like out here like trying to be lyrical miracle on every song which I still have enough of that I guess <laughs> but um so it'll be interesting I have to kind of do a different the Kasky set he's more like I said cash money he's a little bit more like turned up so I could do like <laughs> I did a lot like pass the baton and back on the road and a lot of my bangers legendary stuff like that and um for this one it's a lot more like i gotta tame it back a little bit and kind of do my more uh (laughs) boom bab stuff so yeah i don't know it should be fun though so yeah september 11th i don't think i said that september 11th at ninja karaoke shout out to legends never die promotions for booking me on this one apathy and self-titled domes gauge and more And this is my first show I've done downtown in a while. This one is like Fremont Street, that uh, area downtown. And that's where we used to, that used to be the old stomping grounds with LVCS. If any of you guys used to watch The Life of Me, um, all like those first shows were all like LVCS shows. And man, I have so much Life of Me footage that never got edited. Like so many episodes and like five episodes that just never like I said I was working on a program like my equipment was all old and it just didn't work and it was taking me three days to render videos and there was no way I was editing through hours of footage to make you know the life of me it just couldn't happen so um 
sorry guys <laughs> maybe uh maybe you'll see some of the footage speaking of that boom segue transition uh, <laughs> uh music video i have a music video coming out for uh one of the songs i released last year uh, called Trust the Process. Some of you guys, I released maybe five or six songs last year and um, just singles. And I know a lot of people don't tend to like look at that or listen to that because they're like, where's the album? But no, I did put out like half of an album. Technically, it's just uh, individual songs. Uh, I need to do more. I know, guys. Uh, <laughs> um, so one of those songs, Trust the Process, uh, produced by me and Ryan, my boy Ryan, if y'all know him, if y'all watch any of my videos. Um, I have a music video coming out for it. And uh, we shot this video. Um, well, basically, well, basically, we shot this video like a year ago. It's, it's been sitting on this footage for quite a while, actually. And uh, when we shot it, I just felt like there wasn't enough of something. It was missing something. It was kind of just performance shots and just me rapping and stuff like that. And I was like, we need something else. And um, I had the idea because, well, the song's called Trust the Process. Why don't I try and, like, document the journey so far? Like, document the process, as to so to speak, you know? And I decided to edit a bunch of old footage from like the last 10 years like there's stuff from like dating back to like uh my first like rap battle to like to concerts that I did when I was 15 or 16 like really young footage and just stuff that me and KON did when we were when I was 16 and just those just like literally footage kind of documenting the last doc documenting I was gonna say documentary but anyway there's footage documenting the last 10 years of my life of my rap career I suppose in this video so it's really uh it's really nostalgic it's really special to me it's I showed it to KON and he it was really special to him because he's in a lot of it um <laughs> and I don't know it's a really cool video so anyway sorry camera problems but yeah it's a really cool video and it shall be dropping who knows maybe by the time this this uh podcast episode is out because i'm not exactly sure when i'm releasing this uh maybe the video will be out but i plan to release the video on the 12th monday august 12th so that's like next monday i think what day is it i don't even know what day it is guys it's the second. So I still got a couple days. I mean, I still got like a couple weeks. God, this podcast. Why, you guys, dude, if anyone listens to this, thank you, dude. Because this is going to be a rough listen for the first couple episodes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. Holding a podcast down by yourself is fucking hard. So it is August 2nd. I plan to release the trust the process video on august 12th and which is actually like the anniversary of me and kon's the man show mixtape i don't know how many years i want to say like four five it's been a long time since the man show mixtape five six i don't remember but i know we released it on that date august 12th and he's in a lot of the footage and i don't know anyway august 12th the Trust the Process video will be out on my YouTube channel. So if this episode comes out before then, you know what? I think I will drop this episode before then. And, uh, yeah. So, coming soon. <laughs> Trust the Process music video coming soon, and it's really awesome. So I think anybody who's, like, been around since the start, anybody who, you know, saw my first rap battle, or even the people that are closer to me that know me in person that was like, oh, I went to that show, or I remember that day, or whatever the case is, um, I think it's really awesome to watch. So I'm excited for it. Uh, I hope you guys are excited as well. And that light bulb just made a sound, and... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> might blow up <laughs> might blow up 
it's a big uh, light bulb, and I don't know that it's meant for one of those things, so might blow up. <laughs> uh, domesgage.com slash shop. Get you a shirt. Get the merch. Isn't that right, Buck? <laughs> if only Buck could actually talk, then I wouldn't have so much dead air in this podcast. Woo! All right, guys, a word from our sponsors. No, just kidding. My only sponsor is me. So once again, domesgage.com slash shop. Get yourself a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, what else do I have to talk about? What else do I have to talk about? New music, I guess, since we're on the topic of, uh, on the topic of things like that, right? Music videos and stuff. So, yeah, Trust the Process music video coming out August 12th. Then, uh, I'm sitting on some music, man. I'm sitting on some music. Sitting on some music. I really wish I I knew how long I was going on this podcast because I told myself I only want to, like, keep, I wanted to keep these shorter. I wanted them to be, like, 30 minutes instead of me and K.O.N. did, like, two-hour podcasts. Like, I wanted to keep these, like, 30 minutes and, uh... I don't know that I have, so... As a matter of fact, I'm sure I'm past 30 minutes at this point. So, uh, anyway, new music, new music. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, <laughs> now I'm thinking back. See, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm thinking back to the parts that the camera was messing up and I'm going to have to edit around, and I'm like... Oh, man, did I even say everything I wanted to about that topic? Whatever, dog. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep it moving. And uh, if I forgot, I'll get back to it next week because we're going we're gonna to be consistent with these, guys. We're going to be consistent. Off the Dome with Dome's Gage. We're the real Off the Dome podcast, all right? You're my fans, and you guys have to ride on the other Off the Dome podcast. Like, hey, fuck this bullshit. It's all about Off the Dome with Dome's Gage. Homie, get the fuck out of here. You feel me? <laughs> all right, don't do that. Don't go to their comments and say that. But just have that like that that energy towards them. You feel me? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, new music uh, is the topic that I've decided to talk about right now, I guess. Which I'm trying to think where I should start with that. Uh, I'm sitting on a lot of music, right? I, I've been making a lot of songs just in the mindset of like, let me just make a bunch of songs. Let me make single, like, let me not really worry about a body of work or an album or whatever, whatever. Let me just make as many songs as I can. I've been in that mindset for, I mean, not necessarily recently, but the last couple years has been that just like, let me make as many songs as I possibly can. And now I'm sitting on a lot of ideas that need to be finished that are, uh, ideas that maybe need some re-recording or a verse needs to be finished or the beat needs to be a little bit, uh, tuned up or whatever it is, you know? Um, so I'm sitting on a lot of stuff like that. And I, I was doing the single thing last year. I put out like six singles or something like that. And this year I was kind of like, oh, should I do the single thing again? Should I start like, uh, you know, pushing out singles? And we did drop a single. We dropped Run It Into The Ground, which I forgot that came out this year. Oh, my God. Um, (laughs) See, I've been gone so long. I haven't talked to you guys. Uh, Yeah, we dropped uh, my first single of 2019, Run It Into The Ground, which, man, I guess... You know, I, I guess we'll talk about Run It Into The Ground, huh? Because <laughs> now I have to because I brought it up. And that's how podcasts work. Great, Domes. Now I'm mad at myself. <sighs> Shout out to anybody that's listening to this through this. You guys are the shit. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, Run It Into The Ground. Um, possibly the first single from album two. And I'm calling it album two because I have the title of what my second album is going to be called, but I don't want to start promoting it and doing all that shit like I did with the first one until I know when it's going to come out until I know it's official. Like the first album I did way too much, like it's going to come out, it's going to come out and like wasn't done with it or even close to it at all. So, um, I want this one to be right. So 
I have a title for album two and run it into the ground uh run it into the ground I made amongst like the batch of singles that came out last year the around the time of trust the process and angel with the golden harp and all that it was actually supposed to come out as the following week because I I did January like uh every week I dropped a song so it was like four songs in a week and then February see if I had a podcast to tell you guys that you would have actually been aware of that but because I'm not talking about it you don't know that anyway so last year I dropped yeah four songs in a week and then the fifth one or sixth one or however I did it was supposed to be running into the ground and I ended up pushing it back because I was like "Ah, I kind of like this song more it's a little bit more personal um and who knows I might end up saving this for the album and uh so I sat on that song for a long time and uh (laughs) I went to go visit my sister in Utah and shout out to my sister and her fiance they are that, that's my tech team when i said shout out to my tech team they're uh <laughs> they they help me with my website and stuff so shout out to them they're they help me with a lot of stuff salute to you guys um uh so yeah i went to go visit my sister in utah she lives in utah and uh it's really fucking pretty out there there's lots of trees and scenery and stuff like that and one day <clears throat> we I think we we're just like gonna go hike or go somewhere go take a look at something and uh uh my sister's fiance was like um oh I'm gonna bring the camera like we could film something if you want you know and I'm like oh yeah for sure so I was super down to like film something but they hadn't heard this song and also I'm like I don't know that necessarily what we're gonna film is gonna match this song but I when I made the song I kind of wanted like this sort of foresty lost in the woods vibe that's kind of what I pictured for that song so I was hoping it would maybe fit to that but I wasn't sure and I also hadn't played them the song yet so we got out there and I didn't play them the song I was just like he was just like oh we're gonna film stuff like uh he had the GoPro it's like a really nice GoPro and it just films that super clean slow motion and uh (laughs) <laughs> yeah I didn't even need to play the song we we're basically like let's just get some shots and so that's what I think is so cool about that video is I don't rap or move my mouth to the words one time but I think the emotion like conveys the words if that's the you know what I mean if that makes any sense and uh I was super proud of that like we just went out there with no direction at all and we're, we just started filming shots and uh, I was on my way back from Utah actually when I started to edit footage and I was like oh this is hella gonna work with run it into the ground so I edited it and did all that and then I showed it to Ryan and Ryan helped me make that beat actually Ryan made most of that beat he gave me the base of that beat and I kind of put some drums and added bass line and shit like that but he really helped me with that beat and Oh no, my memory card is full on my phone. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry guys. My memory card on my camera filled up and I probably should have thought about all these things because when we were doing the podcast with KON, I knew that the memory card fills up. Things like that happen. So you got to be ready. You got to delete everything off there and I didn't. So anyway, we're back. What was I talking about? Um I think it was run it into the ground and I don't know how long we've been filming or recording this for so I'm probably gonna wrap it up soon but uh yeah I showed the video to Ryan he came over and I had showed it to him like all finished already and he didn't even know we shot it I was just like oh did I ever show you this and I showed him it and he was like oh what the fuck you did a video for it so he was all into it and uh I just really like how it looks it's really fucking pretty like I said out there and uh like I said I was happy with the fact that I don't move my mouth or say any of the words, but the emotion, I guess, still portrays, still comes across in that video. And so salute to everybody that has watched Run It Into The Ground music video. Um, it was my first single. And yeah, I decided to hold off until I had a video and until things were right. So like I said, that may or may not be the first single from album two because it fits the theme of album two 
I kind of wrote it thinking about album two. There's a lot of songs that are on album two that or that are being made for album two. I shouldn't say on because it's not done. But um, there's a lot of songs that are being made or were made around the same time as that. And uh, I released Shoot for the Sky a year before I put out Old Soul and a Young Body. That was what Ryan told me. He's like, how are you going to put Run Into the Ground on an album if it's been out for so I'm like, shit. Uh, Shoot for the Sky literally came out one year to date. So it was like... Uh, January 27th 2014 shoot for the sky video came out and then old soul and a young body came out January 2015 January 27 2015 so it was like literally one year to date and uh you know you can do stuff like that people put old songs on albums (laughs) and uh that song's not that old so whatever and who knows maybe it won't be on there but as of right now could be the first single it could just be another song i put out who knows either way it's a good song you guys should go listen to it if you haven't already make sure to go watch the video share it all that domes gauge run it into the ground so yeah on the topic of album two i talk about album two or i just was talking about album two i don't think album two is the next thing i'm gonna release that's that's i want album two to be right man I want, I've been doing a lot of stuff just on my own, mixing myself and doing everything myself. And it's a lot because budget, you know, I'm fucking broke and I got to change that and I'm working on it. So, uh, go stream the music, go to Spotify, Apple music, all that buy t-shirts, domesgage.com slash shop (laughs) trying to change that. (laughs) Can't be broke for much longer, but, um, yeah. So a lot of it's budget, but I'm trying to do this like luckily the dude that worked with me on the first album worked with my budget he was super cool and did a great job but for I started to make a lot more singles where I'm like it just makes more sense for me to fucking learn how to do this stuff myself and so I started to learn and I'm still learning how to mix and do all that myself because that's originally why I started to make beats I was like I don't have people making beats for me let me make it myself fuck it (laughs) I don't have people recording for me. Let me do it myself. I don't have someone to mix for me. Let me do it myself. It's just like, that's how you have to go about things to make things work. But for album two, I feel like the music that's on there is special or the music that I have done for it so far is special and it deserves to be professionally mixed. It deserves that. And me and Ryan kind of even talked about that. And Ryan's someone who's big on, like, he's big to be, to say, no, just do it yourself and put it out. He's big on that. But we had a conversation. He's like, no, I think the album should be done right, done professionally. So I'm looking into that. I just want the album to to be done right. However, however, that doesn't mean I'm not sitting on a ton of other music that doesn't fit the album at all (laughs) because I've been making a lot of shit so originally I kind of planned to do the single thing again I'm like oh maybe I'll do the the uh four songs in a month or whatever you know a song a week thing for a couple months or however I did it last year and I like that idea but like I said unless I like people don't like to go for some reason my fan base at least don't really go and like look at the individual singles they're more concerned about like where's an album where's the project where's the whole thing so I've been leaning towards an EP I have like seven to eight songs or I should say six to eight songs that I was thinking about like okay this could be my singles like I'm gonna go week to week to week which who knows this is off the dome with domes gauge podcast I'm thinking out loud here I might still do the single thing. I'm not sure. But so I have a few songs that I was thinking, let me go back to back to back weeks with, and then I'll release an EP of those songs. That's kind of my plan. I don't know if I'm going to do the week to week thing and then just release the EP or just do the singles, no EP. I don't really know. Um, It's all still circulating in my head, in my dome. (laughs) It's all still circulating in there, guys. So, uh, 
I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I think I'm leaning towards an EP. Actually, I know I'm leaning towards an EP because I have a title for the EP, which I'm not going to announce yet. I'm just going to surprise you guys with it. But so, yeah, expect forget everything I just said in the last couple minutes and expect an EP in before the year is over. I don't want to put too much time or too much of a date for you guys on it yet, but expect an EP before the before the year is over and like I said I don't know I might release them as singles and then just put out an EP with those singles uh I don't know I don't know how it's gonna work singles might come out that aren't on the EP because I have a lot I'm sitting on a lot guys I'm working on a lot of stuff so um but yeah the reason I want to do that is I can do all this myself I can I can do an EP myself and not have too much like guilt over like oh I didn't do that song with the best potential it could have been done with you know what I mean that's why I want to get the album professionally done is because I know they are professionals and they know what they're doing and so me it's kind of like a guessing game of oh is that sound good and I would hate to have a song where I think oh I didn't do it to its best potential and it's my fault because I you know what I mean so I don't want to do that however with an EP, with singles, I don't have to stress too too hard over stuff like that. And because nine times out of ten, the things that I'm like, oh, why did I do that? Or, oh, I could have changed that right there. The people that listen don't hear that shit. <laughs> and are like, what? You could have done what? Like, it doesn't make a difference to them. So it's, it's, it's all in my head. It's all off the dome. And this has been the first episode of off the dome with domes gauge so yeah i think this has been a great first episode and by a great first episode i mean i got through it finally <laughs> i actually got through an episode by myself without cutting it after 10 minutes um because i did that three times before this part or this take all right guys i just had to uh delete some more stuff on my memory card and i don't know where what i was just talking about or where i just left off but yeah i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna wrap it up right here um i hope you guys are into this i hope you guys like the idea of me talking about what i have going on and not everything will be music some things might be more about my life and my feelings and stuff like that so <laughs> if you guys have any you know uh ideas or topics of what i should talk about or questions if you i kind of want to set up something like that where you guys can ask me questions and i can respond to it on the podcast uh i don't know like I used to do those Q&A videos where I would have people ask me questions and I would answer them in a video. I think I'll just do that for the podcast. Um, so just leave them in the comments for now. So yeah, leave any questions you have for me down in the comments. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this or I hope you guys enjoy the idea of this and will enjoy it when it gets better because I know it was rough, guys. <laughs> I know it was rough and... Uh, like I said, it's hard carrying a podcast by yourself. Anyway, my camera is giving me a hard time. It's hot in here. Buck's tired of holding my drinks. <laughs> this has been episode one of Off the Dome with Domes Gauge.